What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Uh, here is my throwback segment where I talk about the uh, film that turns uh, 10 and 20 this week. Which, of course, I get, I quote my uh, getting old, uh, my uh, getting old segment. Alright, films uh, that turns 10 years old this week. Holy, holy cow. I cannot believe these turn 10. Like, seriously. Uh, one of the films that turned 10, we got Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. You know, it's based on a comic book. Uh, you know, you got Michael Sarah, uh, who, you know, who cross plays as a rock, um, wannabe rock, rocker. Uh, who ends up falling for this, uh, for this girl named uh, Romola Flyer, played by uh, Mary Elizabeth Winston. And in order to win her heart, uh, he has to fight off her uh, seven evil exes. Uh, this starred uh, Captain America and Captain Marvel here. Uh, you had uh, Chris Evans and uh, Brie Larson. Uh, you had um, Aubrey Plaza, uh, Mia Whitman, Jason Schwartzman. It's directed by Edgar Wright. I love this film. It's really fun. It's entertaining. I'm, I still wish we got to see a sequel. But there are rumors that we might get like an animated thing. But I still wish we got to see a sequel. I mean... Ten years later, this movie still holds up. Okay, it doesn't get to talk out as much as most as it should have, but it's still really awesome. You know, probably one of Michael Sarah's best works. If you literally never seen uh, Scott Pilgrim yet, do yourself a favor, give it a shot. It's a really fun flick. All right, also turning ten, we got the first Expendables movie. movie. You know, directed by uh, Sylvester Sloan, starring Sylvester Sloan as uh, Barney Ross. Uh, probably one of the best action uh, uh, action um, stars and ensembles were in this. You got the likes of Jason Statham, Mickey Rourke, you had uh, Jet Li, uh, Bruce Willis, Anna Schwarzenegger. What a really cool um, action cast you got here. Uh, of course, it ended up falling off by uh, two sequels. You know, there was Expendables 2, which I think is the best out of the franchise. Then there was the third one, which isn't as great. Like, it's been a step down from the uh, first two. Mainly, I think it was the Peach and Team Raiden that kind of hurt it. But the first Expendables is just loads of fun. Great action. Uh, the chemistry between the cast are all solid. I'm still holding out. We'll see a fourth one. There's been also rumors about, like, like I remember that the, uh, female Expendables were once, uh, I was once supposed to come out, but I don't know what happened to that one. But anyway, yeah, Expendables is tons of fun. If you guys never, like, it feels like those action movies from the 80s and all. But man, if you guys have not seen Expendables or even the sequels, go check them out. They're really fun. Especially if you're a fan of these type of action uh, flex. Alright, what's the turning 10? We got uh, Eat, Pray, Love, which is based on a book starring Julia Roberts, uh, Harvey R. Bardem, James Franco, uh, Billy Crudup. Uh, Viola Davis. It was directed by Ryan Murphy, who's best known for Glee, American Horror Story. Uh, sad to say, as much as I like Julia Roberts, as much as I like Ryan Murphy, E Pray Love was not their best work. I, I, I found it a tad bit too boring. You know, I mean, it, it will make you hungry, really. Like, this is a bit of, this is like a love letter to food and all, and to, uh, and of course, love letter to Paris and all that, but sad to say the storyline I didn't care much for. Yet again, I never read the book, so maybe if I, you know, had more appreciation for the book, I'll probably appreciate the film more, but uh. All right, what's the turning 10? We got Animal Kingdom. Now, there is a TV show based on uh, this, which stars uh, Alan Barkin. The TV show is straight up awesome. I really got to kick out the TV show. Still waiting for the next season, but I think because of the pandemic, they ended up shutting down production for that. Anyway, now, that is, of course, based on a uh, Australian film that got released uh, 10 years um, before. You know, starring Jackie Weaver, who, of course, uh, plays the character that Al Barkin plays. Uh, you also had the likes of Joe Egerton, uh, Sullivan Stapleton, uh, Guy Pierce was in this. Animal Kingdom is terrific. A really terrific Australian uh, crime film. Uh, it has, has, I guess you could say it's a bit like um, the, like an Australian version of The Sopranos in a weird way. Uh, it's a pretty fun flick. If you guys haven't really seen the uh, film Animal Kingdom, go check it out. Like, if you're a fan of the TV show, you know, that show is based on an Australian film. So if you guys want to see where that uh, TV show came from, 
Go watch the Australian version. All right, now turning uh, 20, uh, we got the uh, Richard Gere and Winona Ryder film, Autumn in New York. Now, this is a bit of an uh, interesting ro uh, romantic film. You know, Richard Gere, of course, plays this uh, middle-aged guy who ends up... Of course, who ends up uh, falling for like a woman much uh, younger than than uh, him, and she's of course played by uh, Winona Ryder. You know, of course, it is a romantic film that takes place in New York City, which those are pretty decent. You know, I, all in New York is pretty good. I mean, the chemistry between Richard Gere and Winona Ryder is pretty good. Uh, you also had the likes of Vera Farmiga. Uh, you even had uh, J.K. Simmons. Uh, some really good cast members. I think give it a shot if you guys haven't seen it. All right, uh, also turning 20, we got this not so good Kim Basinger movie type, Bless the Heart, which is a drill that stars the likes of uh, Kim Basinger, uh, Christina Ritchie, uh, Jimmy Smith, uh, Rufus Swell. Sad to say, it wasn't all that great. Like, you, yeah, it was like a uh, not so good uh, mystery thriller. Uh, also turning uh, 20, we got uh, Sissy B. Uh, the Mented, which is an action uh, comedy that stars the likes of Melly Griffith, uh, Stephen Dorff, Adrian Grenier, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Eric Roberts, Roseanne Barr was in this, uh, Michael Shannon. This is actually a pretty fun play. You know, it's about this like uh, lunatic uh, director and his devoted coat of uh, cinema. Uh, you know, um, terrorists who uh, want to uh, kidnap a, a movie goddess and uh, force her to start in their uh, underground uh, film. So it's a bit of film, like a film about the love of Hollywood. It is like a yeah, action-based comedy. If you guys have not seen this, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's a very dark comedy. It has some dark humor in it. Pretty good uh, flirt. Also, trying time we got this hockey movie tired. Uh, that uh, was called MVP Most uh, Valuable uh, Primate, which is uh, like a hockey com family comedy. You know, about a primate who ends up uh, pretty much becoming a hockey player. Uh, this stars uh, Kevin Zeggers, who uh, is best known for uh, Air Bud, so there's that. This movie sucks. I mean, it's not really all that funny. Uh, you know, we've had seen a few uh, sport based animal movies before, like, come on, Air Bud. Uh, there, there was a uh, movie like a uh, um, a basketball film about a uh, monkey. I think it was called Eddie or Ed or something like that. There's that. Uh, this is this is definitely not a good one. I remember they watched this as a kid, and then I you know, rewatched it once, uh, you know, just recent. And the film just does not hold up at all. It's just completely, it's completely terrible. Yeah. Crazy to try to swipe it. All right. Now, also, per, now, also turning 20, we got from hockey to football. We got the uh, football drama, The Replacement. You know, this is of course a film that stars Keanu Reeves. You got, uh, you, know, you got the likes of Jane Hackman. Uh, Faze on Love was in this. You got Jack Warden, uh, John Favreau. You know, this is a, probably one of my favorite uh, football movies um, in the 2000s. Uh, Keanu Reeves as a football player. Come on, one more key for there. You know, uh, Gene Hackman, of course, playing the coach here is pretty cool. This is definitely a really classic uh, football movie. You know, it's very inspirational, a great underdog tale. You know, if you guys never really seen the placements yet, Go give it a shot. You know, there's been lots of classic uh, football movies. You know, whether you talk about The Replacements, Rudy, and you know, uh, remember the, I mean, Remember the Titans got released the same year as well. So, what a pretty cool year for football films there. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have never seen The Replacements, go check it out. It's, uh, it's a football classic right there. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me leave you guys. Uh, which of these films stand out to you the most? The 10 year one? Probably Scott Pilgrim. I mean, I love Expendables, but Scott Pilgrim is the one that stands out to me the most. And the film that turns, uh, that stands out to me the most in the 20 year one will probably be The Replacements. That movie is a, that's a terrific football film. Anyway,
anyway, uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayon.